Okay, everybody, I apologize for that. I just uh, checked the audio and realized I've been going on for about four minutes uh, with nothing in the audio. Uh, So let's back up here. And a question was from Carl, uh, EFX demo account. Does it set up, uh, does it have a 15 pip stop loss by default? Yes, it does. You can go into the preferences and change that. Um, How do EFX's uh, charts Compare with Interbank. Uh, Interbanks are probably a little simpler for you. Uh, so, um, I, but having said that, I don't have any experience with EFX's charts. They're fairly new. Uh, so I think they're called IntelliCharts. I'm not sure uh, even where uh, even where they're getting their data from. Uh, then Neil asked about: Do you think the dollar is at uh, collapsing to a point of disaster? I don't think it'll be disastrous, uh, but I think there will be some major issues. Uh, in terms of uh, either a major recession or maybe slightly worse uh, in the United States. Uh, things, The picture is not as rosy as uh, the politicians or even the news media, in my opinion, is making it sound. I think there are some very serious issues uh, in terms of the financial picture of the United States uh, and, and the global picture. So, uh, But again, that's just one man's opinion. My suggestion would be to uh, look at as many credible sources as you can uh, and make up your own mind. Uh, you know, you're going to find people that are that are calling for doom and gloom, a depression, a 29 style depression. But you have to remember that a lot of these guys have been have been saying that since you know 1982. Uh, I, in fact, I know now this doesn't discount from their research uh, because it has been correct. But they've they the Weiss group uh, they were calling the entire way up. Uh, in, the, in the stock market run in the 2000s, they were calling for a financial collapse and a depression, uh, and if that didn't come about. It's not saying that it can't, and I'm not saying that we should put our head in the sand and not prepare for something like that, but we've also got to realize that we can't expect a, a, a particular outcome. Uh, it's a completely different situation now in terms of global reach, and the sophistication of the individuals who are controlling these currencies than it was in 1929. My opinion was the 29 was certainly done on purpose, uh, but I don't think that these guys were Machiavellian enough, or to use uh, George W.'s term, that they were evil enough uh, to to try and cause that kind of depression. Now, maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. I'm just telling you my opinion is that I don't think that that's what they were trying to do. And I don't think that that they're trying to do that this time. You do have to take excesses out of the system. You do have to dry up the credit risk. You do have to dry up uh, the bubble, if you will, in real estate. You do have to get people off of their living off of their credit cards and buying houses that are too big. And unfortunately, the only way you can do that is to force the issue and to make it nearly impossible for them to continue. Once you wash that excess out of the system, then it can typically recover. 